Hi everyone! Hello, hello! Esther here for Elizabeth Crafty Designs. Hi everyone! Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> welcome, welcome! And let me see if everything is okay. Yes, I see some people joining me. Hi, good to see you all. Hi Michelle, Mia, Femke, Morik, Gerda, Jennifer. Hi, hi. So happy to see you're all here. Hi Linda. And Sue, Carla. June, welcome everybody. This is Esther here from a rainy Holland. <laughs> It's raining, it's dark, and it's cold. So I hope that where you are, if you are in the US or Canada or on the other side of the, of the ocean, I hope the weather is better for you. And over here in Europe, <laughs> well, here in Holland, it's not good. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Elisa, Ans, Alice, Ricky. Good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> well, I see a lot of people joining me again. So... I'm happy you are all here and I've got good news for you. I can introduce uh, the new um, Koshi Days collection tonight, today. And well, I'm going to show it to you step by step so you can see what's new. And I'm go going to show you some samples I've already made. And well, I hope you think it's fun. So I think I will start immediately because there, there are a lot of people already here. Hi Joseph, good to see you too. Oh, it's warm in Colorado. I thought I saw some snow um, on Facebook today with Els, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So, okay, um, you see some new things over here already. Here are my planners. I'm going to put this aside for now and I'm going to start with a new reminiscence book. Um, number, th number three already. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited again. Uh, it's always a lot of work creating one, but uh, I really like to see it and I like it when it's finished. So I hope you <laughs> think the same. And I see people uh, buying multiple uh, books already. Uh, one for paper cutting and one for, well, just storing <laughs> and uh, keeping one. Yes, Draadje, put your sound on <laughs> then you can hear me. Hi, Ellie, Monique. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, Honora. Good to see you too. And it's sunny but cool in Georgia. Oh, that's good to hear, Pat. Okay, um, I will go uh, through the book. Uh, just a, a few, I want to show you a few pages. Uh, the theme of this, um, um, how do you say it? Let me think. Um, well, <laughs> this book is a little bit green, yellow, gold and black. So... Um, that's what you can see on the cover and on the back side there's also some red of course um yeah maybe so you can also use it for christmas it's not a completely uh christmas christmas or december themed book because i want you to be able to use it uh, well um for the rest of the year too but of course there are some christmas elements in it um well i think i start in the front so uh one of my collages uh, to start with and this is a little bit Christmassy. You see a, a little sleigh uh, carriage um, over here, but that's it. I mean, you don't need uh, to use this one for Christmas if you don't want to. Here it says a little bit Christmas, a little uh, piece of washi tape, but for the rest, it's quite neutral. Uh, the same one, again, uh, the labels here, but then with some flowers. And this is all the, the thinner paper. So this is the 120 grams. And I'm going through this one. So uh, the other half is uh, exactly the same, only the thicker paper. So uh, <clears throat> this is uh, with the black labels. Here we can do some paper cutting again. Oh, I will take this um, to show it to you. So uh, for those of you who love to do some paper cutting, there are some labels in here again which you can uh, cut out, of course. These are the ones uh, from here, no, from those. And then some, um, where are they? Some tags, I'm going to show them to you. 
um, th these are a little bit Christmassy with the the green uh, the greenery but you can also use them for any other uh, project and there's one large tech that's the one over here so that's this one I cut it out already and the green labels so I'm going to put this aside and what else have we got some greens Christmas trees neutrals more labels so you can do more cutting it's all the, the old uh, Denison, uh, Avery Denison uh, style. Um, yeah, I use those, uh, I made those only in black, so you can stamp in, in them, whatever you want. And I'm not sure if I've got some stamped samples here, no. <laughs> I thought I had a few, yes, here they are. Oh no, those, those are the, the other ones. I'm going to move on and I will show those later. Uh, some more neutrals. Some cards, uh, more cards for paper cutting. There's one over here to use as decorative elements uh, with deer, deer, <laughs> mushrooms. Awesome. Hi, David. Good to see you too. So these you can also cut out. Uh, here comes the black. I love this with the flourish ornament style. This is a little bit brownish, gold, yellow brown black big bulky numbers i also cut those out they're a little bit different in sizes but they're really cool to use i love those <laughs> uh, more neutrals black black chalkboard it looks like a black chalkboard uh, more um how do you call it collage paper black and white or no it's not really white it's a little bit creamy more um well how do you say it? M masculine? <laughs> Not sure if I'm allowed to say that anymore those days. Uh, this is what's uh, saying it's the season, it's the season. So that's a fun one for Christmas or December. Some old rulers, uh, ruler tape. More paper cutting over here if you want, but you can also use this as a background. So that's um, yeah another one of my uh, designs. Some hand lettering or hand lettering? No, it's not lettering. Old handwriting. Sorry. Oh my! Over three hundred people are watching me. Ha! <laughs> that's good for you. Oh, so good. I'm I'm. Um, how can I say it? I'm happy I'm sitting here in my own room and not uh, that I'm not. Uh, no, now I'm saying it completely wrong. <laughs> I'm not standing in front of you guys life so this is so much easier here comes the red and this is a cool one too more paper cutting for you to do uh, and these are pretty cool labels so i cut out a couple of course so can you imagine when you put um one of those um rings over here and then you can use them as gift labels or use them in your journals and they're pretty cool i think uh, with texts like good food, you are something magical, decorating the tree, or just December, December day by day. That's a really fun one to use if you are uh, joining us in the December day by day uh, journaling. Silent night, holly jolly everything, all is bright, the elf did it, cozy, etc, etc. So I hope you like those too. Yeah, I had to make 300 coffees. That would be something. <laughs> uh, more neutrals. Um, oh, these ones are really nice too. Oh. Um, I made those and it took me quite some time to, to make this uh, before I could. Uh, they were print ready. So you can also cut them out. And they are looking a little bit like a Kiftek, and which you can slide something in. Of course, you cannot slide something in. But, um, well, maybe you can, but then you have to trim this out or cut this out and uh, cut this out too. And then you can maybe make a little pocket out of them. But it's also uh, fun to put a picture over here or maybe do some journaling. Uh, they are not all Christmassy. Uh, I think there are three. Yes, this one is, they, these three are a little bit Christmas themed. Now, not a little bit, they are Christmas themed. And the other ones are more neutral, so you can use them. Um, for any other project too. So these are those little cards. And there's this one too. That's a larger one. Uh, if you are uh, keeping your journal, so this might be a fun one to use at the end of uh, December 
when the new the new year starts and there's one blank too so you can uh, stamp or journal in this one yourself and now these also my favorite and those are the ones with the um, reinforcement in the corner so i think yeah you will be able to see it there's a little reinforcement uh, over here in the corner and when you punch a hole in it then you can use those as um, um, a, an, uh, a gift label or you can um, um, yeah, a gift label, or use them in your journal, things like that. So, uh, also, these are not all Christmas themed, but uh, a few of them are. So, I think it's this one. This one says Christmas over here. This has a little bit of green stars over here. But all the others you can use um, for everything you want. Well, more reds, some flowers over here, a musical paper. Um, some card playing thingies, <laughs> not sure how to call them. Uh, this is the Silent Night lyrics texts, and I think this is the 250 grams or 240 grams paper already. So, um, yeah, I hope you like it. There's a lot of paper cutting to do for you, so that's what I wanted to show you first. I'm going to put this aside. And in the meantime, I'm trying to see if I can catch up with all your comments. But, well, <laughs> that's not possible. <laughs> there are too many of you now. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I can't keep up with all the comments, people. Sorry. Um, okay, this was the paper book, the reminiscence book number, what did I say? Number three, yes. And now the dice. We have got, um, if I'm correct, eight new die sets. And there are a couple of them, oh, sorry, I need to put them a little bit more, yeah, over here. Uh, a couple of them you can use in your sidekick, and there are a couple uh, you can use in a large planner, um, but also a few which you can mix and match, so you can use them in the large and in the small planner. So, uh, I'm going to start with this one. It's called an iris shutter, so it's like an iris, you know, like your eye, and I am going to show them to you. Some people might have seen it before because I have been doing some sneak peeks in my um, uh, other uh, Facebook group. So <laughs> um, if you haven't seen it, this is it. Uh, it's called an iris shutter and I must um, make sure that I pronounce it right because I'm very used to saying Irish. So it's not an Irish shutter, but it's an iris <laughs> shutter. But that's a little bit hard. Okay, I hope you understand. Well, this is what it does. It's uh, making uh, an iris, like an, a camera iris, going open and close. So um, it has all several kinds of elements and one uh, piece of, uh, a larger piece of paper which you can cut. And I call this one the overlay and that's this part. And as you can see, this part now is in the large planner, but it's too, it's not too small, but you can use it in the large planner. And it's also suitable for the sidekick. So here I've got one or two in the sidekick. And this is a normal, a regular sidekick page. So if you already have a sidekick, you can use any page you like. And then you put the iris shutter on top of the, uh, those pages. But as you can see, it's also suitable for the large planner. So um, I've made two. So here's another one. And for this one, I will be doing... Um, uh, a life and then I'm going to uh, assemble it so you can watch and see how to do this um, and that will be Tuesday this Tuesday on my own YouTube you YouTube sorry <laughs> and um, I will be also posting a, a tutorial on YouTube so if you are uh, thinking of buying this one and there will be lots of explanation and uh, uh, explain yeah, telling you how you can assemble this one it's a really cool one and what's also fun let's say pretend maybe you do have the camera kit which came out um, last year i think and i also made one of those shutters on top of the camera you know the mini book we all made a lot of the you made those mini books and you can put the shutter also on top or on the front on the cover of the camera kit so um, well, a lot of tutorials will follow 
uh, and I'm happy that I'm going to, uh, I'm able to show you this one now uh, for the first time so uh, this is set number 1911 <laughs> 1911 um, yeah that's it I really like this one so um, the next one I'm going to put this one aside okay then I've got a page called a candle page I'm going to put this one aside too and this is uh, the candle page I hope you can see it it's a full page for the large planner and it has uh, two candles attached to a frame and I've got a sample of that one over here so you can see uh, I applied some acetate uh, at the back of the candles, um, but I also saw um, uh, who was it? Marie Claire. She did also. She also used uh, acetate, and then she put a calendar page uh, at the back of it. That really looked cool too. So uh, you see, those candles are attached to the frame, and you've got some separate elements, so you can layer the candles and put on extra flames or extra drips. Is it how you call them? <laughs> You can also do a picture in there, so um, that's uh, one of the new sets too. Uh, you can also, that's what, what I was thinking this afternoon, uh, if you want to use this as a frame only, you can trim off uh, the candles. So then you have a frame uh, which uh, yeah, perfectly fits one of the, the larger pages. Okay, now I need to have a little sip of water. One moment, please. Okay. Oh, the sub the subtitles. Yes, 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 Tracy. It's giving me nightmares. So um, I am thinking of changing everything just into English. I'm sorry for the Dutch people over here, but um, those translations really k are killing me at the moment. Um, last week I was trying to do uh, translations on a 45 minute YouTube and i spent two and a half hours on 20 minutes translating so then i gave up <laughs> so um sorry for you dutch girls but i think um the future ones uh, will be in english i think now but you never know if it's changing again okay the candles and then i have got this one and i see you thinking now what is that this is uh, my day-to-day -day, uh, page, of day-by-day -day page, I call it. But um, we can also do um, an advent uh, calendar. You can also make that one with it. So it's only one die, it's a full page. And when you cut it twice and then you turn it around like this or like this, then you can make two full pages with all those windows going open and close. So. Uh, there's nothing in here yet because uh, I'm going to use this one in my December day by day journal. So, but can you imagine uh, writing little things uh, or secret journaling over there? Or maybe you can use it um, like, um, how do you call it? Uh, what, what you have been eating every day. So let's say on day one we've been eating pancakes and day two we went for... Uh, well, um, the big M, you know, <laughs> and then we eat uh, veggies or something like that. But it's also really cool, probably with uh, those re really cute um, pictures and things like that. So, and as you can see, I put a little uh, overlay on top of each uh, window. And these are also in the sets, those little frames, th they are the extra ones. Uh, you can use them with the overlays, the little... Um, elements or without and uh, this is the one without the elements the the extra layers so then it's looking like this so you can put stamps or any other decorative uh, pieces on top of the windows so it's really fun uh, using this one as you can see and i know the design team has uh, been making uh, really cool samples with those too and i'm sure they will post them uh, Probably after the weekend too. So you will see lots and lots of inspiration with this uh, set too. Okay, then we have uh, another full page, which is called the forest tree page. So that's this one. 
And let me see, where is the die? Yes, it's here. Uh, it, it's the same um, ID as the, the one with the candles, only this one has a tree over here. And uh, this tree is the same tree as I have been using in the mason jar set. So uh, you can combine those trees. So you, if you want, you can uh, trim this one off and use it in your um, mason jar. Or you can take the trees from the mason jar and incorporate them in uh, this page too. And this is what it looks like <laughs> when you trim it off. But it's a really nice um, decorative item anyhow. So you can use it, uh, let's say, with this one too, just to give you an idea. Uh, and this is one of the elements from the book too. Uh, the deer, which are here, they're also in here. Uh, and this one is saying joy. So it's a really cool set, um, which you can combine really good with the mason jar too. If you have that one, of course. Okay, I need to take a deep breath now. And let me see. Which one are you, do you love, uh, David? The one with the windows or the <coughs> the one with the deer? Because the comments are a little bit behind. I'm speaking uh, faster than my comments or your comments. <laughs> no, those deer are not uh, Elsie's, Jen. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, I'm going back to my... Um, uh, the window sets, the day by day. This one also has a matching stamp set. Uh, <laughs> I see somebody saying, Dear husband, I really need Esther's new set. <laughs> you have to really spoil your husband. <laughs> so these stamps uh, you can use for those uh, windows. And as you can see, they are on those windows too. Uh, it's a little bit tight when you use them with the, the layer on top of it. But uh, I th think, uh, sorry, <laughs> I still think it works out perfectly. So it's a really cool set, big bold stamps and uh, some sentiments. So I had to show that one to you too. Uh, the forestry we had, um, yes, there were also a lot of requests. You remember the, the big bulky um, stamp set with the, the large numbers. And here is a matching die set for for those of you who uh, are having trouble with uh, paper cutting or cutting out all those numbers. Here's a matching die set. Um, what I did with the die set, I added a little, uh, how do you say it, a clothes hanger. And you can uh, attach the, the numbers on, on that if you want. You can also trim the clothes hanger off and then you have a really nice label. Um, so these are the numbers with a little uh, fun element for decoration. So things like this in your planner or on a card. If you are a card maker, you can use this too for card making, of course. And what I also did with those uh, large numbers is uh, I made this birthday calendar um, last Tuesday on Facebook. If you, missed, if you have missed that one, um, you can go to my YouTube and you can see how I made this. Um, the YouTube is in Dutch, but <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. So it's really fun. Um, I used all the big numbers and because I, I thought it was a little bit um, empty uh, by only using uh, uh, number one, I did zero one, zero two, zero three. So for all the months, um, they have two, two numbers. I will quickly go through it. So as you can see, and I all made this um, with pa new paper from the reminiscence book. Oh, and this is a, a fun part too. Um, the topper over here is from the top loading pocket set. Um, there's there's this element uh, which you can put on a, a big label which, which goes into the um, <laughs> top loading pocket. And I trimmed it off a little bit on both sides, so then it will fit uh, a calendar. But if you want to make a wider calendar, that's all up to you. Talking about the calendar, do you see this stamp? This is also a new stamp. So uh, that's this one. And this is also suitable for your journal, of course. Let me see, where is my... Oh, it's over here, of course, my Chris... Kijk, uh, <laughs> look, 
I already put it in my journal for December so you can write down uh, what your plans are for the whole month um, so it has the numbers 1 up to 31 and that's the same stamp you can use to make a calendar so uh, it also has a matching month months <laughs> sorry again uh, little uh, tiny sentiments uh, not too big so you can uh, also use them for uh, funny details make some extra stamps uh, which says day by day or hashtag weekend or let's say it's somebody's birthday you can say hip hip hooray um, good vibes and all kinds of funny little words which you can use on your calendar or in your journal or with pictures so there's a lot of uh, possibilities with uh, this set it's the stamp set only and this is a combination of the stamp set uh, when I use this one and the large numbers for stamping this you, you definitely need a stamping platform because it's really hard to um, stamping it on its own so I would definitely suggest uh, using a stamping platform when you are doing the large one okay didn't I forget anything no this was the stamp set okay um, some water <laughs> one moment please yes Michelle I think so too <clears throat> because there there are a lot of possibilities with it this one goes into the large planner it doesn't go in the in the sidekick but you can if you want of course you can also stamp it on one page I think it will fit yes and then maybe trim it down halfway to the other page you know and make some nice decorative elements on top of it or at the bottom so it gives lots of possibility but possibilities <coughs> um, then I think I am got no are there any questions let me <laughs> see uh, what are you are all talking about? Yeah, the, the girl stample. Uh, I'm, that's, I'm going to show that later, Claudia. I'm not done yet. <laughs> A plate from the die cutting machine. I'm, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Jonah. Uh, online to bestellen. Okay, <laughs> a lot of comments. Sorry, I can't keep up. <laughs> um, I'm moving over to the sidekick now. So I think I'm going to put this one aside. Yes, I didn't forget anything. Okay, so the sidekick. This is what you've already been seeing, the, the iris shutter. And I've got a really cool set too for this one. And it's called, um, how, how did we call this one? Oh yeah, remember this forever. It has a full page with, um, a torn edge uh, border and I'm going to show it to you it's over here <coughs> I didn't finish this one yet so uh, I was thinking maybe I can do this uh, later uh, if I'm finished with all the uh, showing you all the new goodies and otherwise I will keep it for next week so <laughs> but this one has really fun elements I will open it up and show it to you it has a full page like this uh, and that's this one too. I cut it out twice, so it's on both sides. It's the same page, but it has uh, a really nice strip with uh, reinforces, and it's a four-leaf clover. So I will take this out so you can see it a little bit better. And it has um, a frame to hold this stamp. So there's another stamp set. And it's the same one we have uh, for the large planner. And I will be showing you um, the difference in size. So this one is for the large planner. And this one is now also available um, for the sidekick. So this is a small one. So you can see the difference, right? <laughs> it's quite a, a bit smaller. So this one goes into this frame. And it's the same uh, technique as uh, the large planner. You slide it in on both sides. And then you can glue it into your journal or on a card or whatever you want to make <laughs> with it. Oh, it's a little bit off center. Okay, and then you can glue it in your journal. So if you want to use weekly overviews, um, make your appointments or do some journaling every day, uh, some little words, some small words, you can use this um, 
um, <laughs> two now. Okay, and then it also has um, this, which is remember this forever. So this goes here, if you want. Okay, I'm moving this one to this side, so it's a little bit more visible. And I did trim, cut out a piece of cardstock over here, so you can see if you are sliding a little bit more colored paper underneath, it's so much more uh, better for you to see. So it says, remember this forever. I think that's really cute. And you can use it for many, many um, opportunities. And let me see. These are also two very fun labels, also in the same set. Uh, it's this one here and this one here. And it has some matching stamps. It's this one here and the one over here. So as you can see, they both go together. And these are more like the uh, little bit old fashioned price tags. So I think that's what they are called. Uh, it has one larger four leaf clover, a circle, which you can use for the circle stamps, which are also going to be released uh, in this series. And yeah, it's pretty uh, cool and basic. Um, oh, here is one of the four leaf clovers. I'm putting them, let me see now where, okay. I'm putting them on my journal so you can see them. I think it's, well visible right this, the four leaf crowbles, <laughs> clovers as uh, the reinforcers. Okay, <laughs> I think you should not worry, we were uh, responding to the comments about Murara. Yeah, okay, I will do Robin, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to put this back in my little bag. So maybe we can do something or I can do something later on but then i've got it all nice um, together because i'm very good in losing things especially those smaller things okay i will leave this one here because it's already in my journal oh sorry claire <laughs> sorry no not sorry i'm happy to see you like it Okay, so that one was uh, the Remember This Forever set. That's also going to the side. Then I have, oh, a snow globe. That's a really cute one too. Another set, uh, also for the sidekick. It has a full page with rounded corners. The number of that die set, oh, the one I just showed, that was number 1916. 1960 sidekick essentials number 19 huh, that's coincidence and this one is 1917 and it has a snow globe but the most important thing is a full page for the sidekick a mat uh, for the sidekick also uh, they both have rounded corners and the mat also has a stitching um, border okay and it has a really cute little snow globe and i have got one over here yes oh here it is and here you can also see i will take this off and uh, let me see this is the full page you see with the rounded corners yeah i think you can see it <laughs> call in sick make a note in your planner <laughs> uh, and this is the mat matching size and it has those uh, really cool stitched lines and this is the little glo snow globe you can make and it has some um, various uh, elements but also the deer a, sm a very small deer <laughs> as you can see and then it also has some elements to decorate the bottom piece the bottom piece over here I just uh, stamped the word observations on top of it which is also from this set so that's a really nice um, basic page, but with a really cool um, small uh, snow globe, which when I was making this, I was thinking, oh, it might be also really fun to use it upside down like this, you know, on top of your planner at the top of the page. And then um, it looks like a light, a lamp, a light bulb, you know, those old fashioned things on the top of your ceiling <laughs> when you use it upside down or maybe... Uh, make a hole in it with some reinforcers and then uh, as an ornament. Well, lots of possibilities I see. 
Okay, so that's the snow globe set. Oh no, I'm going to put this back in because otherwise I might lose some stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this is um, the snow globe sidekick rounded corners. One more for the sidekick. Let me see. That is um, number 1918. And this is also a sidekick frame, not a complete page. Um, with a, in, in a little bit of Polaroid style. And I am going to show you what it looks like. So um, this is the frame. This is in the set. This is one of your uh, pages which you maybe already... Um, <laughs> which you might already have in your collection uh, a normal uh, sidekick page and this is um, the frame so you can put this on top of your uh, page of, of course you can also use this one in the large planner but this is a really cool one to use over here and it has a little um, closed part at the bottom so you can stamp or write or decor decorate it with some other elements uh, it also has the word saying December day by day. The, so for those of you who want to make their journal December day by day in the sidekick. It's a really fun element to use over here. It has the frame and it also has, um, you know, the leftover pieces. As you can see, it has the, the numbers 1, 2 and a 0 over here. So what you can do with this one. Uh, and some frames, which uh, are falling out over here, <laughs> this part. Uh, so let's say you use this frame, and this is cut from another color of cardstock. And then you can, well, let's say, okay, does this fit? Yes. You can put in another color again, like so. So there is a lot of variation uh, possible with this set. And also, because I'm, I give it three numbers so you can use it for let me see if I've got a zero over here <laughs> no there's no zero left but you can do um, 2021 2022 you can use it the uh, 12 on its own like the month of December so uh, here you can see I've got it on another card which is 12 and here I made 2022 for the new year so you can all mix and match with this set and I think it's a really fun one um, to use for all kind of um, yeah, projects. So now it's a little bit messy on my desk. <laughs> yeah, two, 2000 and up. <laughs> then I'm going to give you the three next year, probably. Oh, Marga, no problem. You can watch it back later. <laughs> so I'm going to put this back in. So, otherwise, I am really getting confused over here. So, okay, this, um, yeah, this is number, again, 1918 Sidekick Essentials number 21, and it's called a Polaroid style. It also has the words joy and number, uh, and a little magic, uh, how do you call it, a magic stick, magic wand? I have no idea. Oh, here you can see some samples I made. That's, of course, on all packaging, you can see the samples I made already. Um, so they could be used for the packaging. So there's inspiration on the back of the packaging too. And here you can see the new stamps set from, uh, from the uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs collection. And here you can see some other elements too. I'm going to show you them very quickly. Uh, this is with the large planner, um, the weekly frame here you can see the, um, the the calendar on the back let me see what, what i've got here oh yeah this is the one with the reindeer reindeer no it's not a reindeer it's a deer um the day with by day windows the shutter the candles so if you are buying those there's also some inspiration at the back of the packaging so you can keep that if you want and this I have been talking about. Uh, then I've got a really cool stamp set and it looks like this. And again, I see you thinking, what am I going to do with that one? 
Well, I, I had a request for more uh, journaling um, spots in, 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 in the planner, in your journals. So I was thinking we already have um, the note pieces set. This is one of last year or the year before. Not sure yet. Uh, not sure which year it was. This is the note pieces set. And it has all those lovely uh, note pieces, <laughs> as you know. Especially the four larger ones. So when you cut those out, I cut a few out, so I'm going to show them to you. So for example, this is this one. Uh, this one is over here. Uh, well, I'm going to put this down here. And then I'm having this one here. And if you cut those out from uh, decorative paper or design paper, it's really hard um, to do some journaling. So what you can do with this stamp set, you stamp this on um, clear or clear, uh, let's say white cardstock, white paper, you stamp those and then you can attach them to those pieces from the note pieces set. So you have this piece, you stamp it uh, on a piece of paper. You have to cut this out. I mean, I didn't make more dies uh, for you because this is already a die and otherwise it would be too much. So it's very easy to trim this, to cut this off and trim a little bit wonky uh, on the edges and then you are getting something like this. So this is going to be your... Um, hey Martine, good to see you too! <laughs> um, so this is a great uh, spot for journaling. So this is a ruled one. Uh, oh, here I've got one and it's the same one. This one is the, the smaller one, you see? I stamped this, cut it out and then you glue it onto one of those note pieces. This is the larger one and this is the one with the dots. So you can uh, combine this stamp set with the note pieces set from the third release as uh, Martina just mentioned. <laughs> so I think this is a really good uh, addition to the dies we are already having. So um, yeah, it gives you a more versatile uh, use. It has also some stamps, uh, extra stamps, which says date, special, and a little uh, pushpin, I think it's called. So hopefully um, you like this too. And then I'm almost, uh, I think I've had them. Oh, no, 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 two more stamp sets. Sorry, almost finished. What time is it? Oh, 45 minutes already. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, there are two more stamp sets and the smaller ones. Uh, a new girl. I made a new girl uh, with a Christmas tree. and But you can use her uh, in two different ways. Uh, when you stamp her, she looks like this. Uh, cut it out. I do it by hand. Uh, there's no die for this one. So you just trim a little bit wonky around the edges. So you've got the girl with the Christmas tree. But you can also remove the Christmas tree. Uh, cut her out a little bit more detailed. And then you can use her... Uh, well, the whole year round, you know, so she's not only a Christmas girl, uh, a Christmas tree girl like this, but you can also uh, cut her out and then you can use her uh, in combination with the other girls. Shall I look for my other girls? Where are they? Let me see. Mm. Yes, my girls, I found her. <laughs> Let me see if I've got a few pre-cuts maybe. Oh, here. here's one sitting over here and you see it's almost the same girl <laughs> so for those of you who like the girls there's a new one added to the family <laughs> so she is you can use her in two different ways and it's the same with the halloween girl we did um a few weeks back you know for halloween there's one with um the pumpkins and you can also cut her off the, the pumpkin so she's just a girl sitting on something um, it has some more um, um, sentiments hello december parcel post sparkle do not open until christmas believe in the magic of christmas uh, this is a little bit more like washi tape you know just a black white um, stamp or if you want to use it in color of course you can Use it with your colored ink but this one i think is pretty cool too it looks like a reinforcer and you can stamp it so what i did over here and this is just a scrap piece of paper 
from one of my uh, index cards. So you stamp this part. You know, I, it's a little bit shiny because of the packaging, uh, but I think you can see it like this. So it's this little stamp over here, and you can make any scrap piece of paper uh, like a tag by using this. So I took uh, from the from the other stamp sets, Mary everything. It's this one, and just uh, stamped this little black part uh, on top of it. So it gives you a tag, or uh, you can use it as a gift tag, or just as a decorative element in your journal. So, <laughs> you need it, uh, David? 256, 25. Oh, that's this one, yes. And in one of the die sets, there was a circle, and that one uh, match, matches this, um, these stamps. Sorry, where is it? Oh, yeah. And this set, you see the ring over here? That one has the same uh, size as these stamps. So you can stamp and then die cut them if you want, uh, or you can use a punch, but I think uh, this is really nice with the, um, the stitching line on the edges. So, that was it, I think. Did I forget every, uh, something? Else, are you also here? <laughs> Else, tell me, did I forget something? I don't think so. Yes, boy stamps, I'm working on them, uh, Jean, but um, I'm having a hard time uh, drawing one, so <laughs> I'm still practicing and I only want to release it if it's a good uh, and uh, yeah, if it's a nice guy, a good guy, <laughs> a little boy. <laughs> okay, but I'm working on it. Okay, I think Els is no longer here. What time is it? Oh yeah, uh, quite a Okay, I'm going to do a quick page for you to show you. Oh, thanks so much, Jonah. <laughs> oh, Els is here. It's fantastic, Esther. Okay, shall I do a quick demo? Matching, manual, matching dice and stamps. Yes, I need to write a book, Nancy. <laughs> okay, a quick, uh, yeah. Okay, then I'm going to do this one. I'm going to take it out because that's a little bit easier to work with. Putting this one aside. And this is the sidekick. As you know, <laughs> so the smaller page. page. Um, now I'm going to assemble it really quickly so you have a little bit of an idea of what you can do with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all these hutsy flutsy thingies. Yes, I need to do some distressing first. <laughs> yes, it's a small release, Daatje. Okay, I'm going to distress a little bit on the edges of this page. So it's a little bit more color. On the edges, so. And I'm doing it really quickly, so. <laughs> now, this one I can do, but I don't think it will be really visible, but just giving it a little bit of a quick touch with some ink it's sometimes it's just a little detail which makes it a little bit more interesting to see okay I think it looks bet best on this page on the on the right side uh, and I am going to distress those little four leaf clovers too just a little bit on the edges. Yes, a Sinterklaas die said, Sonja, yeah, I know. But we are an international company and if we do a Sinterklaas uh, set, uh, people from the US or Canada or whatever country, they have no idea what it is and what to do with it. And I think there are other Dutch companies who are doing Sinterklaas uh, sets, right? Money stamps, that's a good one. <laughs> we can print our own money. <laughs> How fun would that be? Uh, thank you very much, Penny. Okay, some of the four leaf clovers. Do I have another one? You see, it's already missing. And I only showed it to you, and there's one missing already. Oh no, it's here. Yep, I found it. <laughs> Uh, 
so also a little bit ink on the edges uh, the color I'm using frayed burlap that's one of my favorites uh, I think it suits almost everything so it's almost always on my desk uh, I'm not going to do six of those because I think that's a little bit too much I'm going to do those little circle thingies on the other ones and I don't mind. okay I'm doing black on both pages normally I would finish with the reinforcers and I have no idea where I'm now starting with them but okay <laughs> oh we might introduce Santa Claus in, in the US too that's a good idea else and especially with some Zwarte Pieten <laughs> no it's not a good idea I think And you already have uh, Thanksgiving in the US, so that's something we don't have. So I'm going to, because I used the black ones over here, I'm going to use a little bit black on the other side too. And I am not sure where the other black ones are. Mm -hmm. I should have not. Okay, I have to pick up a few black ones. And as you know, I've been die cutting uh, a lot of <laughs> reinforcers, so that's uh, very good. I did it because now I've got them <laughs> on hand. Oh, you are also impatient, <laughs> Simone. Why wait so long until it's Monday? Yeah. <laughs> relax, girls, relax. <laughs> No, that's a good one else. I'm not so, I'm not saying anything anymore. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. But Sinterklaas in the US, I don't think it will work. So, make a new... Um, how do you say it? Oh, I can't come up with the right words. Okay, start working on your planner. Don't talk too much. Now, I just had one of those elements laying over here. I had it in my hands. And now I don't know where did I put it. And you are always, you are all watching me. And you probably have seen where, what did I do with it? I don't see it. Okay. There was an element here, laying over here. And it said, remember this forever. And where did I put it? Nobody leaves. No, I don't see it anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it? Yes, celebrate every day. That's the, the, the most important thing else. Celebrate every day. That's what, that's what we need to do. Okay. I'm obsessed with the ring on your right hand. Oh, they're actually, they are the same, uh, Judy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a brand called Buddha to Buddha. I think it's Dutch. And this is a large one and this is a smaller version. But it's the same one. Didn't it go into your planner before? No, it didn't. Oh, in the small one. Yes. Did I put it back in? It's still in here maybe. No. No. Where did it go? I know it was um, the off-white color. Oh, I see it. It's over here. Found it. Yay. Here it is. That's one. That one needs to. Um, yeah, I found it. <laughs> a little bit uh, ink too, because otherwise you hardly won't see it, because the paper is the same uh, color. <laughs> In the pen. Thanks, girls. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> so. On the bottom of my reinforcement box. Yeah, that would have been possible, Paula. Okay, I'm going to glue this one down. And I'm going to use uh, a little bit of the 3 millimeter tape. And I'm only gluing it uh, here for now. Oh, did you see what I was doing? I've been putting these on. They have to go on top of this. I'm talking too much. <laughs> 
Okay, this one goes here. I'm gluing it down only uh, here for now because uh, I might tuck something underneath. So I need. I don't want it to be. I don't want it want it to be glued down completely. Sometimes I want to say so much that I'm stumbling on on my own words. On my own words. Well, I'm probably saying it wrong too, but I think you know what I mean. And now I can't find the beginning of the tape. Where is it? How is that possible? Yeah, found it. Okay. Only some tape here for now. And this one doesn't want to come off. Okay. Lining it out so it's nice centered on top of the ring ring holes the holes for the rings and then you can slide something underneath if you want so this piece i know it's three by four inches so it might be a perfect size for a picture or something i don't have a picture by hand at the moment but no i think it's more nicer when i make a smaller uh, use a smaller piece of paper i'm going to trim something off I don't know yet what I'm going to put on top of it, but it's just to give you an idea of the layout of a page. So, as you might know, I like to use uh, labels. So I'm going to use a few of those too. And I am not gluing it down because, um, yeah, I want to use this page uh, later, but it's just to give you an idea what you can do with um, the elements from this new die set. And I need, I think I'm trimming one in half or a third part, something. Maybe it's fun to put it here. No, because it's covering up the reinforcers and that's not what I want them to do. This might be fun too. Okay, I'm going to put it in my journal. So that gives you a, a better look of what it looks like. That's what I think. When it's in a journal, it looks different than when it's on your table, just like that. So, just a quick idea of what you can do with one of the die sets. So, I think I'm going to make this something like this. Some of the red labels. Reinforcers, of course. I'm going to glue those down. Uh, no, this reinforcement container is from uh, an art supply store. I bought it uh, quite some years ago and it's not available anymore. But it's a, a container used for watercoloring paint. So maybe you can find it somewhere in the US. Maybe they have it there. <laughs> so the reinforcers over here. And I think I will leave it. Uh, like this for now and I hope you can get an idea like this of what you can do with this die set and it's this one so just a quick sample <laughs> for you to see um, yeah that was it for today I think <laughs> um, yeah uh, one more thing just to remind you if you want to see me uh, assembling the iris uh, shutter uh, die set that will be on my own youtube channel on tuesday evening so that will be the same time as i'm here now so that's around noon yeah 12 p.m uh, mountain time is that what it's called and it's eight o'clock uh, amsterdam time or that's uh, utc plus one if i'm correct so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I thought it was fantastic that you are here with so many people watching all this. Um, else we'll be doing another live on Monday evening, I think. Oh, thank you very much, Michelle. <laughs> else, are you going to do the live on Monday evening? Thank you. Well, uh, thank you. Well, <laughs> thanks, Pat. Thank you, Ria. Else, 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 are you going to do the live on Monday? I think you are. <laughs> you should be. Okay. Um, thanks again, everybody. Um, wherever you are in the US, Canada, uh, have a great rest of the day. If you're in Europe, have a great evening. 
and hopefully I will see you uh, on Tuesday again and then I will be doing the Irish Shutter um, demo. Okay, uh, thanks again and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.